Hello everyone, my name is Mary. How are you doing? It's cold every day. The room in my apartment is Japanese style, but it is very cold. The cold wind comes in through the sliding doors. When it's cold, I visit the library in my neighborhood. The library is a place I have had a connection with since I was a child. When I look at the books, I feel happy as if there is a treasure of knowledge there. When I was in elementary school, I didn't play with other kids during lunch break. I spent in the library. Junior high school was an international school, so I joined a Japanese club studying kanji characters. In high school, I was in a book club and I spent a whole day indoors. I was not particularly good at studying, but because of my love of books, I was able to study at both university and graduate school. I donated a paper to the library one day, and the staff was very happy and said, I will read it. Well, it is cold today, but I will go to see the snow. For me, this is the first snowfall this year. It's exciting. When I arrived at my destination, I felt like I was in a refrigerator. But I feel refreshed and my head is clearer. Today, I will share the snowy scenery with you and talk about books. But first, I'm a little hungry. Let's have something to eat. This looks delicious. Is it organic pasta? I'm a vegetarian, and I'm glad that many restaurants are offering vegetarian menus these days. Here is a soy meat garlic hamburger steak I ordered. It had a Japanese flavor, and the garlic was very tasty. I sometimes eat retort-packed soy meat hamburgers at home. But the one I had at this restaurant tasted so much better. I forgot my tripod for taking pictures, solely for the blurred images.
Well, I have arrived at the destination. It is a zoo, but there seems to be no one around. The first animal I bet was a tiger. It is a powerful animal, even in the snow. From here on, I will tell you more about books and show you images of various animals. Actually, I have a special attachment to libraries. It was at the library that I met a Christian for the first time. I was in elementary school, and this middle aged woman gave me a little card with a scripture on it. Nowadays, you can find these cards at the stores, but I was impressed because it was the first time I'd ever received such a card. And I recognized that the person was probably a Christian. She was not my teacher, and I did not speak a word to her at that time. But I could smell the fragrance of a Christian, and I wanted to be like her. It was only a one time encounter in the library, but it became a precious memory that will remain in my heart. Now, on the screen, monkeys seem to be spending their time enduring the cold. The monkeys reminded me of another incident that happened to me when I was in elementary school. One day at school, I told my classmate that the ancestors of mankind were Adam and Eve. My classmate quickly corrected my mistake and said, Mary, that's not true. The ancestors of mankind were apes. I remember he said it in the possible way. I knew what the textbook said, but I believe what the Bible said. My ancestors were not monkeys. My ancestors were human beings created by God. My trust in God has not changed since then and continued to this day. So, how were the animals in the zoo this time? These are animals named Mara. They were eating food in the snow. In addition to the sheep, there were a wompad, a Japanese antelope, and alpacas. They all seemed to be used to the snow, but the random panda was most energetic. His fur is so fluffy and cute. The Bible describes when God created animals. God created the beasts of the earth 
according to their kinds and domestic animals according to their kinds. And everything that creeps on the earth according to its kind. And God looked and saw that it was good. Genesis chapter 1 verse 25. I thank God for creating these lovely animals. Thank you for watching. Please look for the next issue of Mali's Life in Japan.